What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chad's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful, delicious, smoky, barky, tender, bone-in mini beef ribs. Coming up! These are some beef ribs! Pat them dry! Just some standard beef short ribs. Pick these up at my local HEB. The old dino ribs, the old three bone rack. And what I was planning on getting was the ones that are already cut up into little chunks. I see them all the time, except for today. They didn't have any. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this up ourselves, which will be interesting. But first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of score the back here, give myself a little cut line. And I guess the nice part about making these yourself is you can really choose how big you want them. I'm thinking some nice even thirds like that ought to be good. Go ahead and just kind of poke through these a little bit. And I've never done this before, but my theory is that it'll be easier to do it this way as opposed to slicing the bones in half first because when you have a single bone and you get the saw going this thing's gonna want to wiggle around so this is the game plan for today meaning it's time to bust out some power tools got my handy dandy little meat saw here i do not believe this is intended for meat but uh it was really cheap on amazon and that's what i use it for so simply enough we're just gonna kind of see how this goes without dinging up the cutting board at all all right, I think we did it. Go ahead and finish this slice. And there we go. That would be a fun cut just to cook as it is. But pretty clean. Oh, ding the cutting board. That's all right. This cutting board's been through a lot in its life and it's almost time for a new one. Tell you what, whenever you're busting out some power tools for your barbecue, you know it's gonna be a good day. That was a lot less painful than I thought it was gonna be. Beautiful, three different sizes. Ooh. Look how thick that is. And now we can go through and locate these bones and just slice them into individual little beef ribs. Oh yeah, that is gonna be quite the little chunker right there. Beautiful marbling on these. And I'm leaving the fat cap and the membrane on as I typically do with beef ribs. And we'll see how they come out. Ooh, that is beautiful. God, I love the marbling of beef ribs, folks. And there we have it. All of our little mini beef ribs are cut up. And I'm kind of glad that they didn't have any of the pre-cut ones at the store because these are looking a lot better than the ones I see there. A little flapper doodle hanging off of this one. Anywho, because I forgot my bone duster at Leroy and Lewis like two years ago, I'm gonna give these a quick rinse. And usually I don't rinse my meat because it's not necessary, but uh, I don't want to have any bone fragments on these. So we're going to get these cleaned up real quick. <laughs> and there we have it. Some beautiful, nicely cleaned up, chunky little beef ribs. And the whole point of this is because I thought it'd be really fun. And if we can shorten the cook on a beef rib and get some little beef rib bone in burn ends, that sounds good to me. But first we need to get these seasoned up. And today I'm going with some of Guga's new rub. Thank you for sending me this Guga. It's very tasty stuff. Highly recommend picking some up. Got some lovely flavors in there. But because this is beef ribs and this is Texas, I need to add some black pepper to it too. So we're gonna go into some. Chud's barbecue, 16 mesh black pepper. Look, it's another Guga Chud collab. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go about 50-50, half rub, half pepper. And that should give us a nice flavor with some wonderful black peppery bark. Oops, great stocking stuffers. Looking pretty good. Although it's a little pepper heavy. Maybe we'll go in with a little more of the old Guga rub. Hey -ya! You know the drill from here, folks. Just gonna get these covered all over. And I don't really think we need a binder because I literally just ran these underwater. Flip them over, flip them over. Some of these are pretty awkward shaped. Some are gigantic, some are small. So it'll be an interesting cook, but you know, that's just the nature of beef ribs. They're uh, not exactly the straightest of bones all the way through. And all sides, folks. You don't want to forget the sides. You know, I hear that that's a bit of a rookie move. And I've talked about it before, but I usually do like using different rubs on beef ribs. And that's just because it's pretty similar to brisket once it's all barked up and cooked at the end of the day. So using a more complex rub is a great way to differentiate it and make it more unique. And you know what? Don't tell anyone what I said this, but you know, sometimes just salt and pepper can get a little bit boring. We're just gonna get them all tossed together. And I think it is about time to fire up the pit. And on the pit we go. Gonna put these bigger ones up front. I'm not really too worried about bone orientation because it's hard to tell until they start pulling back. But we're going bone side down, fat side up. You know the drill, folks. And we're gonna rock this pit right around 250 degrees for the first few hours to make sure they get nice and smoky and nice and barky and make sure everything doesn't cook too fast. We'll check back in in a little bit. This video is brought to you by Zbiotics. 
With the holidays right around the corner, there are a lot of festivities coming up. Whether that's holiday parties, eggnog, travel, or spending time with the family, there is plenty of occasions where alcohol will be consumed. And with Zbiotics, you can still enjoy a really fun night out, yet wake up the next morning feeling refreshed and ready to face the day. Basically what happens is when you drink alcohol, a toxic byproduct of alcohol builds up in your unprepared gut. The byproduct is called acetaldehyde, and that's what causes you to feel terrible in the morning. But Zbiotics produced an enzyme that does the same thing that your liver does to break down this byproduct. And it comes in these cute little glass bottles. Very nice. Zbiotics is also the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It's using actual science. It's not just plant extracts or anything you're gonna get off the shelf. And I gotta say, I have personally put this stuff to the test and can confirm that it works very well. But if you're unsure, they also offer a 100% money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. So if you wanna wake up feeling great after enjoying this holiday season to its fullest, or give the gift to one of your friends who has a particular love of eggnog, head to zbiotics.com using the link in the description box of this video to get 15% off your first order of Zbiotics. Again, that's zbiotics.com slash chudsbarbecue, link in the description to get 15% off your first order. Thank you, Zbiotics. We're about three hours into this little beef rib cook here and they are looking nice and barky. Ooh, starting to tender up a little bit. Bones are starting to pull back. We're eating around 160, so. Still got a little ways to go. I'm gonna spritz these down with a little apple cider vinegar because I feel like it, especially with all these extra edges on there. Help them from getting too crunchy. But other than that, we're gonna bump the temps up to around 280, maybe 300 for the next little bit until these guys are feeling real nice and tender. And just like that, about an hour, hour and a half later, these guys are looking real nice. Ooh, nice and barky. Looks like a tiny baby little beef rib. Feeling very hot in my hands. Ow! But they're probably pretty tender, right around 200 degrees, so I'm gonna pull them off. Nice and barky, nice and crispy. <laughs> Look how tall this one got. How you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, nice and tender. I like that one. Nice and soft. I like the way that feels. Ooh, it's got that briskety smell to it. People talk about that, the old, uh, the old chocolate chip cookie smell. If you ever smell it, you'll never forget it. All right, you can wrap these up. Good to go. This is just so they steam a little bit, kind of soften up some of those edges while we let these carry over and then cool down. And then we'll see how they came out. All right, these things have fully rested and I think it's time to see how they came out. Looking nice and barky, feeling nice and tender. Surprise they're all staying on the bones, to be honest. And the fact that they're all different sizes means they'd be great for a party. Little something for everybody, but ooh, nice and pillowy. Love it. I mean, what's not to like, folks? It's beef, it's barky, it's barbecue, it's beef ribs, it's tender. I gotta dive in. It got a little chilly out here, folks. As it does this time of year. But at least I got these little beauties to keep me company. Mm-hmm. Damn. That is phenomenal. Just a mini beef rib. Beautiful smoke ring, nice and tender, just ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. That rub. Duga. Great job, buddy. Mm. That is just a fantastic little morsel. I mean, I don't need to do much convincing folks. It's beef ribs. It's the king of barbecue, but in party form. I'm telling you, you show up to a football game with a bunch of these bad boys, poo, pop them right next to the chicken wings. They did shrink up quite a bit. I was a little worried they're gonna be gigantic. And don't get me wrong, that's still a pretty big chunk, but honestly, this makes a lot more sense because I'm not sure if you've ever tried to tackle an entire dino rib, but it's a bit heavy and this is a little more manageable. So if you have a bandsaw and you're a restaurant, this is probably the way I would do it. Get more bang for your buck, serve more people. Because that's a big problem with beef ribs for professional joints is it takes up a lot of real estate when you can really only feed three people for something that takes eight to 10 hours to cook. But with these, eh? Oh, oh that is so good. It's been a minute since I had a good beef rib, folks. Mm, perfectly seasoned. That salt level is right there. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. And to be completely honest with you, I uh, did not really pay close attention to when I put these on, but I think it was about a four or five hour cook, maybe six after the rest. So not gonna save you all that much time, although a six hour rack of beef ribs is always good in my book. It's a fun little way to serve something a little bit differently, you know? Serve more people, nice and barky, and that's like the real benefit of this method is you get bark on every side. Like I said earlier, it's like a bone-in burn end. But without further ado, I think it's time for the official taste test. 
Alright y'all, I'm going to zip that aside to make some absolutely fantastic barbecue mini beef ribs. I highly recommend giving this one a try. It really ticks all the boxes. It's a super simple, quick and easy cook. Great for parties, great way to feed a crowd, and I highly recommend you giving it a try soon. But that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, feel free to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the